Yo, what's up, everybody? Carlton T. Clay here. So I want to give y'all a little disclaimer before you watch and or listen to the episode. So the audio. So after we got done recording, uh, I listened back to it and we, yeah, the audio is, is a little tricky. Still working some things out. I tried to edit it the best that I could as far as like the noise removal and everything, trying to fix the kinks of that. Um, so I ask that you listen with grace. And uh, it's, it's still a good podcast. It's still a good shout out to my guy, Quad, who came through and gave his opinions on power. Um, but I hope that you listen with some grace. Don't don't judge me or critique me too harshly. We, I'm still learning this thing, working this thing out. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this new episode of Carlton's World. The person that lives, breathes, sleeps, power is Quad. <laughs> and goes to the left. Life? It's like a basketball game. Sometimes you're up, other times you're down. Opponents and adversaries coming at you left and right. However, it's not the challenges you face that define you. What defines you is how you play the game. And I play to win. Welcome to my world, Carlton's world. Because quad, because quad, like that's, if, that's, that's the power. That's the power. It kind of, yeah, the power connoisseur. I'm trying to tell you, shout because, out to quad. Yeah, man. Because I um, if, if one person loves power, regardless of if it's trash or not, it's quad. Quad, <laughs> quad lives life like he goes, man. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he got a trench coat somewhere just because goes had a trench coat. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Carlton's World. So we have today the power connoisseur. Quad Jones, <laughs> what's going on, man? What's going on? Yeah, chilling, man. I, uh, me and Maine talked about you on our episode. We talked about power, and I said there's this one person that we both know that loves extremely loves power, yeah, and that's Quad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, it, if who the person that lives, breathes, sleeps, power is Quad. <laughs> and go to the left. <laughs> we gonna get into that. We definitely gonna get into that, man. But how's everything been going for you, bro? I've just been cool and maintaining, you know, taking care of the family, uh, trying to put myself in position to be okay. Yeah. I want to be proud of myself when I'm 50. I want to be able to look back at myself and, you know, just be like, hey, I'm proud of the decisions you made when you were younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just all across the board from finances, uh, relationships, uh, health. It's just everything all together, you know. Some people turn 50 and they going through bad health, you know, whether it's bad organs or just not being physically fit. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you know, you're going through those kind of things. And finances, you know, people trying to get their 401k together at those later age, you know, kind of tired that, you know, kind of winding down a little bit. So right. I just want to be able to be proud of myself when I get older. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. That's what's up, man. Um, Definitely. Um, wanted to make sure we had you on. I definitely, um, I do another thing for people who don't know. I do another thing called VPN chat. You have definitely been on some VPN shows and films. We'll do that another time. Um, as far as getting you to talk about your experience with Freaky Productions, we definitely now this episode is particularly about your love for the show Power. Now, I want, I want to, what about the show that drew you in as far as uh, the original series? Man, it's crazy because I was just having a conversation with people the other day, and um, like as a day one power fan, you know, you see people come on to the show, and I was telling folks, I was like, man, people weren't really on power that strong in 2014. It was like 2016 when it became like a, it became massive. Mm -hmm. and in that debate, you know, they started looking at the numbers and stuff, and I said, yeah, you see how the numbers just grew astronomically and stuff, but. I don't know, man. Uh, just to answer your question as far as it being a TV show, it was, we didn't really have that many like black TV shows at that time frame that was, uh, you know, just, I don't know, man. Like, you watch the show and then it just became striking all the time. Like, you just grew with it. Like, mm -hmm. you seen kids grow up. Like, you seen a bar hard with, you know, he, I don't I, like to answer that question. I, I can't even say exactly what, what it was that just drew me in immediately. But over time, I've seen a lot of different things that happened. And 
it was a lot of that show created a lot of think pieces. Yeah. And I like I'm I'm like a sappy and sexual type of person. I like to uh have conversations that aren't generic. You know, it's kinda just like a layer. You can pull back a layer on a person and see where their thought process it was at. Mm. So there's a lot of different things that were going on in power that created conversation in the black community to kinda see exactly where our heads was as a whole, you know. Yeah. And, you know, like one of the big conversations in the beginning was who cheated first. Mm-hmm. And you know, you had the feminist movement, you had a lot of people believing that ghost committed the first angle, you know what I'm saying? When really when you go back and look at it, you see a lot of things that was created wrong. I mean a lot of things that were done wrong in the beginning on Tasha's end, you know, so mm-hmm. it created Conversations about accountability and uh, it, 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 it created a lot of talking points over time, you know. So that was like one of the things that I love. Like a lot of shows, they don't pull a community of people together to be able to have thorough conversations about life, you know. Some shows you can talk about and it's just the show, mm-hmm. but the show doesn't come over into life. So that was one of the things I always loved about power. Gotcha. So, who cheated first? All right. So, who to so to you? Who who cheated first? Tasha <laughs> Tasha made the move first. Definitely, okay, definitely. And on top of cheating, another thing on top of the cheating, it was being supportive of a man. Like that was a great conversation to have in the black community about being supportive. And women' main thing was. Well, he wasn't communicating. It's always about this communication, communication, communication. It's mm-hmm. like, hey, if you trust somebody to lead their life and they don't brought you this far, then you have to just trust me to that person. I'm not trying to prepare ghosts to God or anything, but when you allow somebody to lead your life, you just got to let them lead. You can't sit around and just ask a million questions. Like, if, if you done built that faith up in that person the way they, the way they had your back for that long, you know? Mm. Yeah, so it's like if you ask God for something, you know, just say, "Well, God, why this? God, why that?" You know, you just let them, you just let them flow because at some point I should have been a bit of trust in that connection to believe that you know, okay, I know this person got my best interest and I'm leave wrong. But like I said, I'm not comparing those to God. I'm just using it as, as an example. Of yeah, trusting the person to lead you, you chosen. That's your husband. You mm. chosen to lead you. Y'all been together for X amount of time. You good, you well off, and all you keep thinking about is some money, and it just brought it just brought a lot of talking points in the community, you know. So, what's your stance on emotional cheating? Uh, emotional cheating. Uh, like, do you feel like emotional cheating is, is worse than physical cheating? So, as far as like emotional cheating, um, I think emotional cheating can can be both. I think physical cheating can just not necessarily be emotional mm-hmm. you know but a person uh i think when go seeing angela it was i'm happy i'm happy to see it you know what i'm saying seeing this person like this person used to have my heart and quite naturally like when you and a person in and it wasn't like a terrible end y'all vibe back y'all had good things going on and it come to an end i don't think it necessarily mean war mm-hmm. i think in today's world like when you break it off with a person it's just oh they did that's mm-hmm. what they that's what the coach is teaching mm-hmm. but you can have a relationship with a person and still love them you know what i'm saying that's true. we got a bond but the time in our life just wasn't right mm-hmm. and it was best to just let it go because we appreciate our bond nowadays in the days where we're trapping each other into relationships when we no longer happy or just mm-hmm. it's just this relationship doesn't make sense for where we are at in our life so we try to hold each other captive because we don't want any, anybody else to hold us. Like people love from a place of uh, ego and not a spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to just be rambling. No, no, you, no. This, hey, this your form, bro. Talk, talk, yeah. talk. It's, it's just a lot of different things that come that comes with that. You know, so it's like when you see somebody that you ain't that you didn't have a bad break off with. It's just life wasn't in y'all favor at that time and which was she went away to school and he went his path in her life i mean in his life and it was just like you know i am still crazy about you, mm. you know? so when he seen her 
his mind didn't immediately go to, oh, I'm finna cheat, but he was extremely happy to see her. You know, and that's just quite natural. It's like, hey, this is somebody that I once loved, I still love. I just want to speak to this person. You know, it's hard not to speak to this person. I can't consider that necessary to cheat. Gotcha. Because if you want to speak to a person, I believe even if Tasha was around, well, she was there, but he didn't realize she was there, there. But I think he still would have spoken even if Tasha was there. Okay. That's, you know and that's and that's and that's that was the reason why I asked you that question about the emotional cheating because I because I know a lot of people said well Ghost emotionally cheated first as far as with with Angela yeah and before at, before Tasha did her thing with yeah. Sean so yeah, like I think my thing is if Tasha was there I think he would have been just as happy to see her with Tasha on his side. Mm. And he just would have been like, hey, you know, we've seen this happen on movies a countless amount of times where couples are with their significant other and they meet somebody from back in the day. And they're kind of happy to show off the other person like, yeah, me and you didn't work out, but I still did good. I made a good, I made a good decision in life. This is my wife. Hey, this is your husband. You, you know, you did good or whatever. You know, I think people look at things from a childhood standpoint, not a life of experience. Mm. People want to uh, kind of just look at a person like this is my person and my person should have never had anything else with anyone else at no point in life. Mm. Like you just talked to this person that and, you know, people gotta go through things to be seen. Like, and I, I think when you just going through things with a person, y'all in a relationship, whether you was 16, 17, and you was little and naive, you haven't really experienced life, but I think everything is an experience for something better. So, you know, People have fair marriages, people have fair relationships. A lot of things happen sometimes, but I believe if you can take it for what it is and be optimistic about things, you can learn from things to be a better person for the next person. But some people are pessimists and they choose like, okay, well, everybody is going to be some bull, so let me be some bull to the next person. And that creates a lot of, you know, but... I just, I just think overall, I, I don't think nothing was wrong with. Hey, this is an old friend. I'm going, I'm going to speak to a friend that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm crazy about this person. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not on no cheating or anything. I'm just speaking. You know, no. that's just like taking, taking the significant. I mean, taking the person that you're in a relationship. I mean, the person you used to date out of the equation. Quite often, we run into people who are family members of the people we used to date. True. We had great relationships with them. We happy to see them. Mm. Hey, how you doing? The other person may may even come up, you know, I hope they doing all right. Because we living in a world now where folks feel like, if I ain't together no more, I don't want your life to work. Mm. I want your life to be pitiful. I want your life to be miserable if you're not with me. So I can say, I was the, sh I was the shining light in your life. Mm. So that's why I said, like, I think in today's world, that's the problem that we go through. Like, we, we love from a place of ego and not from the spirit. Like, we love a person from the spirit and we can, uh, we can just do something beautiful, you know? And I think, you know, just now being married, you know, things that we go through in our relationships, you know, it's just you're making a choice, you're making a decision to be with a person. You know? You're making a choice to choose that person every day. And I was talking to someone one day and I was telling them like, when you with somebody, you have to uh you have to not be so stuck in your ego and you have to step back and realize like hey, I'm flawed. Mm. And through all of my flaws, this person is still choosing me every day. But sometimes people are so stuck in their ego, they can't see their own flaws. They can only see your flaws. So in their mind, they're settling. And it's better out there in the world when really might just be having the best to pick up a little, the best thing out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's what be going on in, in, in the world a lot of times. You can see things, you know. It's not always what we see. Yeah. So who do you feel cause that was that was very insightful, very very deep, sir. Um who <laughs> nah for real, like that was that was that was very very wide coming from your very wise mind uh, for sure so with that said where where the breakdown of tasha and ghost relationship where do you where do you think it went wrong as far as because a lot of people 
uh, they blame Tasha for basically. They basically say Tasha it snow started this whole snowball effect. Of everything that really happened, as far as her not supporting Ghost was when Ghost originally said, "I want to go legit. I want to do the club thing." And Tasha was like, "No, I want to. I want to. I want you to stay in drugs. Be Ghost. You know, so we, you know, we we get we got this getting this money. Um, where did, that a lot of people say that's where the fault it was. That's the issue. You know, when you're living in a world of normally." When someone is for you, they, they're trying to save you from like a woman's intuition. They always talk about a woman's intuition. A woman's intuition used to be to save you from trouble. Um, it was to keep you out of trouble, from going to jail, from death, etc. You know. Mm-hmm. Now a woman's intuition is the more so you know, used for stuff that's irrelevant. They don't even matter for you. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, trying to catch you cheating or doing doing irrelevant things, you know what I'm saying? Like but back to the type of it's more so a from a case of um, being supportive. When you've done so much for a person, you dedicated your life to them, mm-hmm. to trying to have something with them and they're uh they don't believe them. Mm-hmm. It, can, it, 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 it can be definitely uh you know, like off the subject, there's the banks. I know you probably seen what was going on. Um, the way he was saying that the woman that he was with didn't believe in him. Mm-hmm. And she's saying she believed in him because she let him drive a car. Mm-hmm. So it was a big talking point that happened with that alone because. If I make a million dollars selling drugs and I only take and I only make five hundred thousand being legal, what is the problem? Mm-hmm. You're looking at oh now you're not making as much money as you was making, but you got me. So it makes you feel like hey, you need to get me for real. You don't care about me for real. You don't care about me from a material place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like even when things happen, he would just leave her money and it would just make a whole day. With Brad, to Keisha, uh, I mean, well, I know, I know Keisha, Keisha, yeah, a lot of scattered than Keisha. Yeah. Yeah. So Keisha would just be like, Yeah, you blessed and XYZ because you got somebody who's giving you material things, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of things, I think that's where the relationship went wrong with. Like, I can't, I'm chasing a dream that I always wanted to achieve, and here I am obtaining these things, and you constantly bad. Mm-hmm. So I think I think that was a constant issue, and then she was steady throwing fits. Like when the thing happened, yeah, okay, he was talking to he was talking to Angela, but he was running to Angela, and that's what made Tasha so mad. She was doing something spiteful to try to catch his attention. Mm-hmm. She was down there dancing with them dudes, trying to get his attention. And he started running, and she thought that he was running to her. The whole time he was running to Anthony, so it made it. You know what I'm saying? But that wasn't cheap. All you, all you seen me doing was talking to a person, and this could have been anybody. This could have been anybody that I was talking to. Right after this, you left the club, got in the car, and you did, you did what you did. You got in the car, so. Yeah. But I think that's where it went wrong. It just being very unsupportive and. Um, not so you feel like he as Ghost was trying to grow, yeah. and then she was just trying to stay where they where they were. Yes. If you watch it, then you can say what, what you think I. He asked her, "What did what did you think I'd be when you met me? You seen something that I never really wanted to be. You seen something that I had to be to survive, and that's what you then that's what you wanted me to stay." Mm-hmm. And that happens in the community all the time. If you look at the black community as a whole, everything that's about growth is kind of looked, it's kind of frowned upon. A dude get in a relationship, oh man, you get soft. Uh, girls get in relationships. They, they friends saying, oh man, you get soft. Or, you know, it's just a lot of things that are stagnant growth in the black community. So, like I said, Power just created a lot of talking points and things that need to be talked about that we weren't unaware of at the time. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. So let's get into these uh, these different books um, because you and I definitely do not see eye to eye on. For sure. Oh God! You see, they can cancel. You see, they can see guys they and go. They cancel them for a reason. <laughs> hey, but don't get me wrong. Like Ghost, good though. You know what I'm saying? Ghost is good, and it picked up right where power left off, and I think that's where it helped a lot of people. But it forced it created a whole new storyline. Raising Canaan has a whole storyline. What? I, yeah. What? I'm trying. I'm just. I'm just trying to figure out where your head at. What about Force is like you're saying that it's the best? I'm just trying to figure out why. I had these, I had these and they be on my top about it, but it's like, it's just overall as a show. Tommy is the only one with the identity. You know who he is. He's not living a double life. He understands what his purpose is. Mm. And in two seasons, if you take two seasons of Force, two seasons of Raising Kane, and two seasons of Ghost, he has the most direction and has accomplished the most. Now, when it comes to acting, Okay, it doesn't have the best act, but as far as the storyline of knowing where you're going in your direction and and you can see a progress, the proofs and the foot. <laughs> We've been to be in season four, and I mean, you got a million dollars a day and you broke the mark. He's mo he's in a better he's in a worse position now than he was in. In the first season of Power, in the first season of Ghost, you talking about to read? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's, I, in, a, he's in a worse. He, he he's in a worse position. Like he's he's been on trial for murder. I mean, he's been in jail for murder already. He owes everybody. Mm -hmm. They probably gonna draw it up like he's been doing good in school, but he ain't really been doing good in school. But I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing I like about Power. Though I like they talk to points like when they had those open seminars and stuff, and they. Got you. So okay, so I think um I think well the cancellation of Ghost, I don't necessarily from my understanding, I from what I read on several of the trades, blogs, whatever, I think I from what I read, I believe that they wanted more money. Yeah, they wanted more money and they was like, Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cancel the show. Well, end it. I should, it, it, I won't say cancel, I would say end because they're actually doing a series finale. Canceling means like, oh, we think we come back with another yeah, season, y'all yeah, not yeah. getting on the yeah, season. Yeah, we ain't gonna <laughs> this. Go, it goes goes good, man. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Man. Like after a while, like when you can step outside of the box and don't attach it so much to power and let it be a standalone show. Kind of just looking at some little bad kids running around just doing stuff. Mm. It's like and then, like, the finale of Power just makes you wonder, like, what's going on on the next season? Because right now, they're at war. It's Braden and Tariq against everybody. Yeah. What does that look like? Then two bits just keep coming in every... So often. 15 episodes. Yeah. Just antagonizing people. Come back, steal somebody's car, leave them with an old school Cadillac. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. But, now nah, I got love for those old man. It's a good show, you know. I just force it just I feel like when it's all said and done, force it to be the best one out of those. I'm just shocked you're saying that. I'm really shocked you're just because I mean I'm I'm just to keep it one hundred, force to me is actually the, the worst yeah, one. Not be not and not because I don't think the acting is bad. Actually I think the acting is actually is some of the acting on force is actually better than some of the acting on um on ghost. So, 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 I'm speaking from a, I'm speaking from a storyline perspective, I guess, for with force. I think because well first of all, and I've already said this before, Tommy was not my favorite character on how on original power. So like him coming to have his own spinoff, I was just like, alright. I mean, I'm going to check it out, of course, because I'm invested. I've already watched Power. You know, I, I watched Power. I'm going to keep going to see what's going on. Um, but excuse me, y'all. Y'all hate it. That's our dog, Poochie. I have to say it on every podcast because he just, he, look, bro, no, for real. He, he, whenever I'm recording, he just starts barking. He just, he just, he just, he just, he just starts it, it being a random middle part. He just be trying to put his drop on. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I like I said, I wasn't really too excited about the force, but I, I was gonna watch it. To me, the, the season one, season one to me was all over the place and disjointed. Yeah. And I will admit that season two was definitely a lot better than season one. I just feel like for me, 
like I told Maine, I just think with Tommy, even though, yeah, we, as the audience, we do know his background. We know where he come from. Just in a, to me, in a realistic in a real state, state. Yeah. I don't, that wouldn't happen as far as, especially coming into this territory, this yeah. black, right. black territory. You yeah. feel yeah. me what I'm saying? You yeah. feel me? So that's, that's, that's the thing that kind of, me. that was disjointed to me. That, that been, that been brought to me. That been brought to me. But we speaking from a place of realism, like Raising Canaan, the only one that's, you know, actually realistic and you can actually see, okay, yeah, this is possible, this is possible, but these folks got million dollars, they paying million dollars for lawyers, ain't nobody doing no tax, uh, mm. like, you know, a lot of that stuff ain't realistic either, but, you know, for the purpose of the show, you enjoy the show, man. <laughs> you just gotta enjoy the show. You gotta enjoy the show. Oh, man. That, that's, that's, what it, that's what it boils down to, but I don't know, man. I just feel like we only two seasons in power. And it's like, we I mean, two seasons in force. And I just feel like, you know, when I can, when I look at those three shows, two, 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 I just think force made the most headway. Hmm. Interesting. That's very interesting. What's your thoughts on uh, Race of Canaan? We talked, we talked briefly about it, but like, what's overall? I like the nostalgic feel of um I like the uh season one he was getting on my nerves though man. He was like uh, he reminded me of two weeks a whole lot. Uh you talking about younger Kanan? Yeah. He okay. Just, he just was in the way. He just wanted to be in the street so bad. Even though he's like everybody like kinda be on rock now and saying, Okay, well rock this, rock that but she was trying to save him from the lifestyle. He actually Forced herself into it. You mm-hmm. know? Like she was trying to send him to a private school, but yeah, he put everything wrong on the test to fail it on purpose. Mm-hmm. You know? So then, you know, she's constantly got to clean up his mess because, you know, you leaked them, wanted them season one because you done uh, got into a buck 20 mm-hmm. about a girl. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, he comes with Mo Better Blue. That's what it was called, right? When he had the, uh, when he had, I think he put some fentanyl or something in the drugs, something uh-huh. like that. When he was trapping up there by the stove and then, you know, people had started overdosing and stuff. Mm-hmm. He just, you know, it's like he, he every time he thinks he got a bright idea that I always go left. So, uh, it's a good show though, man. I like it though. What was your thoughts on uh, Unique as far uh-huh. as that? that situation you, you, unique unique is one of those enemies that you love mm-hmm. like you know just one of those enemies that you just bad with like you want to see him you kind of want to see him possible like you don't want the you don't want him to do nothing to the to outside but you kind of want to see him win too a little bit you yeah know what I'm so, but uh i don't like how they uh i don't like the character development of luke okay luke was, Lou's a cool guy, head on, you know, kind of dependable. Mm. Now he's become the drunk that you can't count on, that you got to keep an eye on, et cetera. And then Raising Canaan at the beginning, you know, he, Canaan uh, described Marvin as the uncle that never missed an opportunity to miss an opportunity. And now he's the uncle that's kind of like showing up. So it's kind of like they trade, traded places with it, you mm-hmm. know? And Marvin showing up and fighting for uh, the daughter. Yeah. Um, and then Lou is like missing when it comes time for, for stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I don't, the character development was kind of crazy on Lou because Lou was like the guy that first episode. Yeah. First season. I think, and I told Man this, I think, like I said, Raising Canaan, my issue just with Raising Canaan is, I know we have to show his world and show, like, what impacted his life growing up, but I think the show spends too much time a lot on the sides. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not talking about his family. I'm not talking about his mom, his uncles, or his cousin. They're important, obviously. But I'm talking about, like, with Famous yeah. and um, the cops, like, uh, the you know, the woman cop that got killed, yeah. that, you know, whatever. Yeah, just all that. The, the the some of the side stuff they spend a little bit too much time on. I think. I think. Um, even with even with um, what's his cousin's name? Um, Juke. Even with Jukebox. Even with this past season with the girl group. I mean, yeah, it was a. I think it was a cute storyline. And I know again we have to see how she 
went from where she is to where we saw her in the original power, her, you know, her adult character. It makes her think but it but, it, but it's family. Yeah, but it's but yeah, but it's still it's just kinda of just a lot of stuff. It's just like, all right, I just feel like stuff is filler. Yeah, let's 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 get to the point. And that's why I said like time is screen time is like magnificent compared to the other shows like Ghost should be about to read, but we see a lot of stuff going on with everything else. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like you got it's like forces about you know, even with uh Diamond them daddy uh passing on a force, like mm. it's it's quick. It's still focused on time, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Time is but with with ghosts it's like to reach it, like we see more we see more with uh Kane and everybody. It's a hotter family. Yeah, the Tahada family. Which actually, like I said, I I, I personally enjoy the Tahada family. Even yeah, like I, I'm I would, I'm I was I'm, I'm even able to get past some of Mary's, you know, yeah, some of her acting. her acting. Yeah. You know, even though I will say it has gotten a lot better since, yeah, season one, since season one. But I can get past that and for and still enjoy the story of the Tahada family. Yeah. I even said I even posed that even with Ghost ending, I feel like there's more to the Tahada family that we don't even know about, and I yeah. feel like. They, they could get their some. own their own thing, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. But uh, the thing with uh, the thing with the thing with power and ghosts is like I thought that Lorenzo was gonna be more than what he ended up being. I agree. I said the same. I they said made, the exact same they thing. They made him seem so like they made him. He he, he gave me Uncle Benny vibes when he was all said and done. Like the way he went out, he came home with the big old clothes, big neck. Mm-hmm. Change and stuff, but, yeah. I, yeah, I said, I said the same thing. I said that I feel like they they built him up so massive, and then when he actually came home from prison, they punked him, and then like, and the way he was killed was whack. I just, I thought that was that was whack. I was like, yeah, they. I feel like they, I feel like they killed him off too soon, honestly. But let me tell you my. Okay, go ahead. So, what are we hold on? What are we? Pred- what are you about to predict? Ghosts. Okay, go ahead. Then give you a rundown. So, All right. In power, Tariq was told by Tasha, your dad is going to find that gun. Ghost told Tariq, don't you ever make that mistake again thinking that you're smarter than me. Mm-hmm. So that, that, that goes kind of hand in hand. You leave a gun inside my club and you think I ain't going to find it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ambulance. Tommy had the ambulance, had the ambulance on already. You go back and you watch Power Ambulance pulling off by the time to get around the side of the building. It's already pulling off. So fast forward to Ghost. This dude just keep popping up with all these different levels. When Ghost first came out, um, I forgot, I can't think of the, uh, the lawyer, the lawyer dude's name. But he kept coming. You know, he basically got the whole case. Oh, you talking about the dude from Cop Show? He was on Cop Show. He played Elvin on Cop Show. Dude. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I don't remember his name when that was. Yeah. Leave Ghost alone. Ghost supposed to be dead. Why y'all? Why you even care about what happens in the press or anything with the case? When the case was going on, mm-hmm. he was like, "Just leave that case alone." Somebody was still pursuing the case, trying to uh, trying to convict or something like that. Wait, I'm trying to figure out what I'm. I, 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 I'm trying to think of which lawyer you talking about. I'm trying to think of the dude's name, man. It's the white guy. He had okay, so I said the wrong lawyer, y'all. Sorry, it was not Elvin from Cop Show. <laughs> I'm talking about the white guy. He had the curly hair. White guy had the curly hair. Yeah, he he he, he the one came and got the whole case dismissed when Tasha was in jail. Uh huh. Let me see what I can think of this dude. Okay, go ahead and continue with your prediction while you're trying to find. So with that, with that, he gonna. Um, he gonna come back. Who's he? Ghost. Mr. <laughs> fourth season. Uh huh. Every season was a new year of college. It takes four years to finish college. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to go through the college and with the college after four years. After four years, you know, it's when you graduate, that's when you're supposed to get the money and stuff. For right. Your head. So right. He gonna come back like, yeah, I made you finish school. Watch. 
Y'all heard it here. There's gonna be some more to it, uh-huh. but that's gonna be the gist of it. Cause you want some dropping out of school, and I'm gonna make you do this. Cause I know you gonna go to school. I know your mama gonna make you go to school to get my hair. Mm-hmm. I win. Y'all, but let me find it. Go, go ahead and find it. Um, y'all heard it here. This is this is wow. Quad's prediction that Ghost is gonna, is coming back. He, he is he is stuck. On that ghost is not dead. Just think about. He didn't even let Tommy kill. Tommy wanted the kid to reach. When when Ghost got shot, he wanted he wanted to kill. He didn't let him do it. I think he had it all planned out. Think about it. He even gave Tommy his car back. He knew all this was going to happen. So you saying we? So you're saying Ghost is working behind the scenes doing all this? Yes, that was a farewell gift to Tommy when that happened. He was like, "I know that this gonna happen. I'm gonna get you your car back." We had shot the car up. All of a sudden, I died, but I didn't got you this car. Come on, people ain't thinking like that. You finna win, Lieutenant. Matter of fact, the dude from the Lieutenant Governor office. I can't think of his name. He uh-huh. wasn't a lawyer. He was from the Lieutenant Governor office. He was the one that was basically. What's the name, Mott? I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. I can't remember what his name was, but he he came and you know he, he basically got the uh, he got the case thrown out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's, all right, good watch. <laughs> good watch. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna owe you the biggest apology yeah. if this happens. Hey, look, they like to call me crazy, but hey, watch. I'm not calling you crazy. I'm not calling you crazy. I'm just saying that, you know, I feel like here's, here's, here's the reason why I don't want Ghost to be alive still. Because, and I said, like I said, I said this with Maine. I watch Power because I like the realism. Well, when it is, I like the realism as far as, you know, what they what they provide as far as the story. Um, with, now, now I'm not sure if you're familiar with soap operas or whatever, but you know, Young and the Rest is Bold and Beautiful, General Hospital, all that stuff. I watch those shows for the the over the topness of it because I mean, people people die and come back to life all the time. Yeah. Even in my shows, I, I consider my shows soap operas because we definitely have had people characters come back to like die, come back to life, and then we also have you know mysterious twin brothers, sisters, all that good stuff. Yeah. But that's the over the topness of what makes a soap opera a soap opera. With power, I don't consider power a soap. I consider power, uh, uh, you know, a, a not was it a crime? I guess a crime drama. I guess you would say. Yeah. So, like I said, I, I think it's like I I, I I I watch that for the realism of what that world represents, and I feel like for me. And, and and I could be and even with and I'm I guess I'm not guess I am sort of kind of on both sides of the coin because even with you going back to Unique, I mean yeah Unique got Unique was presumed dead but then he ended up showing up at the end of the episode so um you know he's he's basically un, undeaded he's uh, I mean he never died anyway he just he was I guess not really severely unconscious and then he came back to life well he showed up at the end so I guess, I guess I'm talking on both sides of my mouth with that. You know, with that in the whole situation, but I like Unique. I was, I was a big, I'm a big fan of Joey Badass, so I was cool with that. But with you the whole ghost situation, huh? Unique, you put them clothes on. <laughs> yeah, Unique, put them clothes on. Yeah. I, I guess I just, I just don't want, I just don't want that because it was such a huge deal when Ghost got shot and all that stuff. I just don't want that. I don't want that to be overshadowed by the soap opera this of oh he's actually still alive type thing but that's just that's just me but i mean i think what you did what you predicted i think is very interesting um and it would provide a very huge shock value if a very shock factor if ghost actually shows up on the last episode of ghost and the thing about power they always the show is called ghost never dies it's called power ghost Never died. That's what it's called. I think the, the subtitle was Ghost Never Dies. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's like the subtitle, but I'm just saying, like, that title has been thrown out many times. Ghost Never Dies. 
folks never died. So you, so you didn't interpret. But they tried to interpret it as okay, Tariq is the. That's the, that's that's what I was saying. Like I feel like that's how that's kind of how I interpret it. As far as like Tariq is the, is turning into his father. Cause like even when they have moments to where they uh, show everybody that done died, everybody that he killed or whatever. They never showed. They never showed up. So you didn't take that as a Mark Hart. Hart was just not wanting to be a part of it. Yeah, y'all got he, scrappy. Cause y'all he, cause he, cause he has voice. He's voiced. Yeah, he did voice that he was like but done with that. Talking about coming back. He did. Uh, he did say that. And I just feel like I feel like they just always leave things in the writing to create a uh, way to bring back the character. Mm. I mean, we thought Kane was dead. We did. We watched him die. We did. And you know, so I just feel like certain characters always have a chance to come back. Unique came back. Uh, Kanan came back. Yeah, at a point in time, Ghost even thought he killed Timon mm. until you seen him walking. <laughs> you mm. know, but just, you know, the show didn't say that he was dead, but Ghost just thought he had killed him. Yeah, man. What's your thoughts on uh, Power Origins, the new the new prequel that we're supposed to be getting? I think that's what people want to see, but I think when they see it, they're like, we already know it. <laughs> like, I enjoy the, I enjoy the, the old, the old, the olds and the wilds of power mm-hmm. versus the predictable, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. So with power, the origins, if you're a power fan, you know the origins. Mm-hmm. The only thing you're doing now is kind of putting faces with you. Gotcha. You know, I think on Raising Canaan, they can do a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. You know, we can see who Breeze is. We can see Ghost Dad. Did you think Ronda was Breeze? I did. Okay. I did. Were you disappointed that you were wrong? Uh, no, because I ain't really want him to be Breeze. Okay. He wasn't a character for Breeze. But he did have Breeze characteristics from what Ghost described him as. Mm-hmm. Someone who loved the game, only understood the game, didn't want to let you do anything outside of the game. Mm-hmm. So he, he had a lot of ghost scare. I mean, he had Breeze characteristics, but I picture Breeze being a being a cool cat, you know, laid back type dude, you know, jumpsuits, kind of dressed like unique. I was about to ask you, I asked Maine this question. Do you think unique I Breeze? Think unique can possibly become Breeze in the next season because. I read that uh, Breeze, that Unique is different now. She mm-hmm. had, he's had head trauma, mm-hmm. his thoughts and his mind and his, a lot of his things about him is not the same anymore. Mm-hmm. So, and that was a Joey Badass interview that I actually watched that he said these things. So, maybe he could be mm-hmm. because he has the swagger to to be that caliber of a person as described by Ghost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Ronnie didn't really, he had certain things, but the way he dressed and, you know, a lot of those things didn't, you know, didn't really seem like it. You know? mm-hmm. But I don't know, man. So, uh, I, and I got told, man, you still trying to look for this lawyer? Yeah, I'm trying to look for this lawyer. <laughs> I don't know where he is. I'm going to find him, though. Um, I told, man, like, I thought that, not saying that, because I know with Raising Cane, I know people, immediately was like oh where is tommy and ghost i knew that wasn't gonna happen because you know we have to see how ron i mean ronnie we have to see how kanan developed kanan was um, but, already in the game. right so but I, I thought originally that they were going to introduce tommy and ghost like probably like maybe season five. six but yeah like five or wrong, six like yeah you gotta keep in mind too he's older than he's yeah a kid right now so it's like you know but they can all but but they can always do a time jump, you know, yeah, like I said, like yeah, yeah, yeah. They could, they could do that too. But at a point in time before they started talking about doing a power origins thing, I was looking at uh when Kanan was doing the little corner thing mm-hmm. with the uh meal carriers. Mm-hmm. It was some little guys on there that looked like it could have been a time man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but when they came with the power origins, I was like, nah. That's and honestly, that, that's honestly what I thought. I thought they were going to introduce Tommy and Ghost during that when he was doing that 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 part. So that's that's what I thought originally too. So do you think they're going to do an intersection with Raising Canaan and Origins at some point? It's very well possible because I think that 
as you can see, Ghost and Force has intercepted. Tommy Harris came back on Ghost. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that Ghost is probably going to, I think they're going to start trying to expand and they might end up linking up with Tommy and some this season. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tommy has been on Ghost several times already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I think, I think that, you know, but people have to keep in mind that right now Force is behind Ghost. It's like a season behind. So a lot of things that are happening in Ghost, we haven't seen happen yet in Force, even as far as, uh, the timeline of I don't even think where they put the murder on on time yet that's happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because on on force they still think that he's he was still reported as dead, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, you know, you supposedly fake his death too when they, you know, wrote the when that store or something was yeah. Something yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I think both of them could intercept because there's there's stories that are going on at the same timeline. I, I think it makes for a better show because the shows that are going on at the same time. Bro. Gotcha. Um, did you um now I I was disappointed honestly when they decided not to move forward with influence. Because that was yeah. gonna be that was gonna be yeah. Lorenz Tate's uh, character's uh spinoff, which I thought would have been amazing. Just because first of all Lorenz Tate is an amazing actor. I thought his character at the time had a lot of um had a lot of had a lot of potential yeah, to really be. carry a show as far as the, talking about the political world yeah. and the corruptness of the political world yeah. and all the other stuff. And also with his background being the cop and his brother yeah, and all the other stuff, it had a potential to be an, an amazing good. show. It was definitely a lot that could have been a, a great show that could attract the whole nother crowd. It yeah. probably would have lost some of the audience, but I think it would have gained an even massive more I audience agree. because it was people, you know, it's people that like those kind of shows. You got 911. CSI Miami, you got different shows that deal with political stuff. Yeah, like people that love like Scandal and um House of Cards and yeah, different things yeah, like that. So yeah. yeah. yeah so and just add, and then adding the street element to it. Yeah, still yeah. I think it definitely would have been I think it had a potential to do some something something massive, honestly. Yeah, they got a show called East New York that's uh that just goes off like police and stuff going on. It's pretty good. I think it's on like one seat one or two seasons right now. But also, the day that Ghost died, he was telling everybody, nobody's stopping me. Nobody's stopping me. I can't be stopped. He gave everybody the business that day. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just, I just think that, you know, I just think that. You are, you are just uh, standing on this hill. Yeah. With, <laughs> with yeah, Ghost. <laughs> He is standing on this hill. We both trying to find his lawyer because I don't even think he was necessarily like a lawyer. I don't know what he was, but he he was somebody with some power. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Go see. He's a little curly haired white man. Let's see. We both looking. I don't want to. It may be Stephen Ott. It may be maybe Ott. A representative of the political party goes with a part of Stephen Ott. That's yeah. I think that's what you're talking yeah, about. Let me look. Let me about to click on this. Now you talking about this dude right here? Yeah, that's him. Oh, okay. That's him. So, yep, we found him. Yeah. We're gonna end. We're gonna. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna end this podcast. You know, I found him. He wouldn't let it go. You remember he kept yeah. coming. Like if Ghost dead, you, your work done. You go on with your life. But mm -hmm. he still wouldn't let any media or anything tarnish his name. Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to preserve the name of somebody that's dead? Because. I mean, the same reason why we try to he we try to keep people's names that are passed away now, like people trying to tarnish it after their death. Like it's about the legacy. You try to keep the legacy straight. Yeah, for sure. You want to try to keep the legacy straight, but he never won lieutenant governor. So by him never winning lieutenant governor, he doesn't really have any strong ties to the government for the government to get. I can see from a place of a friend or mm. something or a business partner, but I was never a governor. Maybe maybe because of the money that they invested into his his campaign, they don't want the political party to look bad. And as soon as it was over with, they called him and paid and told him, hey, job open. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying. I'm not, man. but you know what? I'm not even. I'm, saying, I'm not even going. I'm not even trying to change your mind, bro. I just think it's just. I just think it's funny how you. I. 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 I, I think it's funny, hey, but at look, the same time, I enjoy your enthusiasm yeah, and where your mindset is on this look, whole look, thing. It make you feel like, man, of course you should roll power, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everything I said makes sense. 
if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it ain't just one of them crazy stories like people be having on, on that don't make no sense. Uh -huh. you know, what, 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 group, yeah. like, Man, what, what I can appreciate about you is even though you have this opinion, but you have your facts to back it up, yeah. and I can appreciate that. Yeah. I can appreciate that. So I, like I said, man, I am interested to see how it goes in. So that way, if if you are correct, sir, if here's his thing, if you are correct, sir, I will buy you dinner. This right here, receipt right here. Uh, yeah, it's a receipt right here. Yeah, so, it is. It's it's, 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 it's time stamp. Yeah. And like I said, if you are correct, sir, then on me. Yeah, that's why sometimes I be posting crazy stuff on Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, if you want a time stamp on it, so when the real see it, I I told y'all this. This, 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 this <laughs> come up, man. I'm going to list. I'm going to. I'm going to list uh, the shows. I want you to tell me your favorite character on each one. You're going to pick one. Okay, so we're going to go with first Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan. Why you box? She's just dope. She's the uh, soul. a lot of. Like, even though she's a girl, I see a lot of her qualities in uh, you know, adolescence, um, and how they can stray off. You see, she ended up coming in up in power. But you see, she was innocent. And she ended up being a victim of her innocence. And that happens a lot in our community. Um, her mother abandoned her, you know. Uh, so she was raised in a one parent home, and the one parent that she had really wasn't the best parent either. But it was what was available, you know. Mm -hmm. um, never really having a space to be heard or be seen or to be able to talk to anyone, you know. She still found a way to kind of persevere through those things. Her first love was take, taken from her, even though it was from the same sex, you know. Uh, we didn't got to get deep to that. It was still someone that she loved that was that lost her life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, you know, she just she's just going through. She was going through what she going through, you know. She she out there making a way for her own. Whether she was, you know, when she was still in the clothes, you know, she got fight, she got fight on him. You know, the girl came to try to jump her. She beat him down, you know. Mm. She sang good. She still wake up every day, and you know, like through all the obstacles and boundaries that she going on through her life, she still try to do some type of guidance for her cousin when it came, you know. So. Mm. I see that happen a lot. You know, people be going through things, but they still try to be a uh, shining light in somebody else's life, yeah. even though they life full of darkness. So, uh, I love Deep Park, man. Um, got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of respect for her as a character, you know, and I'm loving her backstory, you know, and seeing the things that she went through to become the person that she became in power, you know, so. Mm -hmm. um, I know they got her going on to the military or something like that. I don't know how that's gonna go, but uh, yeah, that's my favorite character. If I like. All right, original power. Original power. Ghost, my boy. Man. <laughs> Ghost, my boy. Man. Like, you know, I I I love Ghost because he's a leader, and being a leader, you can't always think for yourself. You gotta make decisions for everybody. And sometimes the decision may not even be beneficial for you, but when you're a leader, you have to make sure everybody's okay. When mm. you're a protector, you have to make sure everybody's okay. So everybody was like, why goes can't leave the gang? Why didn't you leave the gang? Can't leave the gang because you mm -hmm. had a man that needed it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to create a way to save you from this. You know, and then, you know, eventually he got to his point where whatever. Do what you want to do, you know. But he was making these decisions as a leader to make sure everybody was okay. And some things, things happen out of collateral damage because, you know. But he he always tried to make the best decision with what was available, you know. And even when he was labeled to be the bad guy, he always kept his character intact. He never, because he could easily say, "Hey, um." Your mama, the reason why Sean, your best friend, lost his life to you know, mm. like Tasha made Tasha made him out to be a bad person to 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 reach and you know it created a drift between a father and a son, but he, he stayed on his spirit. He, he just persevered through it all, you know. So, go to my baby. All right, next horse. Uh, 
could have been a fairly new show. I can't necessarily. You can, bro. You got, you got two can, seasons, bro. I can. But as of right now, I'm going to say that. Okay. Right now, I'm going to say that. Okay. Uh, I miss the time, you know, but that. I I I want to just pick. I'm gonna do a sidebar with with Forge. I think for me, like I said again, my I like I like the brothers. I like I like Diamond. I like his brother. Even though his brother be doing too much. Denard Denard he definitely in the way for sure. Denard. But <clears throat> excuse me. But I like I like the potential of their relationship. I like like I said. I, I just it's room for growth for their brotherhood. I feel like because that's why I had an essential problem with Tommy coming in and quote unquote kind of taking over. I was just like, come on, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta come together. Y'all have to. Y'all got to, y'all brothers. And I'm talking about like, y'all real life brothers, not, not bro, like, you know, you call somebody your bro, like, y'all, y'all real brothers. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta come together, man. Y'all can't let this, that's why, I mean, honestly, even with, with Janara girlfriend saying like, no, we gotta, you know, we gotta make sure we keep it in, you know, keep it with us. I was with her on it, you know what I'm saying? You know, like not, you know. I'm just, I'm just, I just, I see the potential and growth. If they actually, and it's, and it's not, it's not. Um, what's what's his name? The the one you said you like? Diamond. Diamond. It's not Diamond. It's Janard. Yeah, Janard, Janard gotta gotta get it together so that way they can really come together and really dominate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I like. Uh, there's a couple characters on that I feel but uh, Diamond, right now, right now is the season two, with the two seasons, I'd say Diamond. Yeah. Diamond actually, uh, you know, he actually loved the little boy who lost his life, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes when people come along, they only want to do it with um, kids to try to swim the moment, you know, but he actually did the kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Step in on the situation with domestic violence, and, you know, kind of protected them without even bragging like, yeah, hey, I protect the child. Yeah. So, I think, I think Diamond is the right. All right. And finally, Ghost. Ghost. I still have to date to meet the really good Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you, family, though, you got residual anger. Yeah, family. But, um, pain, I hate them. But you know what I mean. Uh, he stuck, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna like, say, I'm why you why you think about it. I'm gonna say, um, Method Man's character actually was my favorite on the show. Um, however, this past season, I didn't like his character. I didn't like. I like the way he was written. I feel like they really he his character has the potential of really being like not necessarily an antagonist, but he like I said because he has both. He has that duality of I want to do good, I do good, but I, I definitely still I still do do what I need to do yeah, to make things happen I, by any means necessary. Yeah. I love the duality of his character with how they were developing him. And I think season three they really sidetracked him a yeah. lot. And Method Man is a great actor too, yeah, yeah, so sure. that's like they really. They really sidetracked his character in his past season. So I didn't really like the direction they were going with his character per, per, se, per se. But I still think for me, Method Man, Method Man's character is still like on on my list as being top. Yeah, I, I think likes me in the future. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. But she's some pressure on that. Okay, yeah. Likes me in the future. Really good, yeah. What's her name, Bro, Bro, Bronisha? Bronisha. Where it's some I can I, I got a look. We here. 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 It's is yeah, it's br- it's Brashandra. 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 Yeah, I ain't I ain't wanna mess it up. Brashandra. Um, I don't know, man. Uh Lauren, oh, they- Lauren ran across my mind, but I don't really wanna say Lauren either. I don't know, man. Like it, it's hard. Right now I I, I just go to To read? Yeah, I'm gonna go to and Method Man's character by name is named Davis McLean. Yeah, uh, Davis yeah. McLean. Okay. Uh, what Tariq? Yeah, I mean, I, so everybody on here Tariq. All, all forgiven as far as the new show. Okay. I do like the way they're. they're I do. I do like the way they've developed Tariq as a main character. I do like that. He's definitely more tolerable on 
yeah. ghost than he was on power. On, on ghost, like leaving power behind, we just going off ghost. Like, mm-hmm. he, we actually started to love him and like him so much, we almost forgot about what he did to ghost, but I never forget. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we almost, you know, people. People like him again, mm-hmm. you know. Like it ain't so much hate towards him, you know, because of what he did. You know? Yeah. So, okay. Like we all, we we, we actually kind of like root for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I I say to root as for us, Ghost all together, but we just talking about all the shows, Power Universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we want to be talking about. <laughs> um, I like the Kane though. Oh, okay. I like it, Kanan. Not, not on Raising Kanan, but the power. The power. Yeah, like, I wasn't a Kanan fan. They tried to make Kanan look bad, man. Kanan just wanted his block back. Kanan just wanted his block back. Like, hey, I was out here trapping, minding my business, trying to take care of folks, and y'all got me locked up. Do you think Kanan is actually the father of Tariq and his, his passed away sister? At a point in time, I was thinking that, but the show never like really went too deep into it. But at a point in time, I was thinking about. Do you think we're going? I about to say, do you think we're going to get that on origins? Because I feel like it's possible. It's possible that they could go possible. into go that route to but, see. But, because they never, because they never actually, they, they talked never, about they talked about how they set them up, but they never yeah. really they never did like a flashback or anything or showed yeah. it. So and then it was always like from a place of whenever Tasha came up, he always. I had that hunch, like, boy, I know, I know. Like when he was talking to Sean, when he was talking to Sean, he was like, "You need to get some of that." You know what I'm saying? And he was saying it like, "I'm speaking from experience, son. I, I know what it's hitting for." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then just the way he would look at her when he walked in the kitchen, and, and how that, comfortable and she would be, like she was holding back some in the back of her mind. She and also, but also that, but also she also kind of had a look. She had a look of fear too, a little bit too. And she always was adamant on getting rid of. Yeah. Like, she the one who pushed with Tariq to, to do what he did, you know, to get him out of there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Gotcha. It's, it's definitely possible. Is there anything else that you want to say uh, about power? Uh, speaking of speaking of the 50 uh, Cent Universe, uh, do you watch BMF? Yeah. Okay, what's your thoughts on BMF? Cause I know our, our friend, I, I know our friend Slim doesn't really care for BMF. So outside of the acting, though, <laughs> I, I enjoy the show though. You, know? you said outside the acting. Yeah, I enjoy the show. Like Meeks look just like his dad, but he's not really the best at acting. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's kind of like it kind of feel like they just be talking in the room, just vibing out. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it, it, I don't see any difference between. Little meets the actor and little meets the person. It, it, it seems like the same person in a sense. But uh, I like I like the show though. It'd be cool to watch. I don't put it next to Snowfall and Power and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. it's, it's a good show. And um, I like the uh, I just I like the story of BMF itself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, but I think that Da Vinci kind of carries the show as far as the act. Got you. Um, it's the parents for me. I love Russell Hornsby. I love yeah, McCall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do that. McCall, yeah, they're parents. I mean, they're seasoned actors. So, I mean, of course. But I do agree with you. Da Vinci definitely, definitely talented. He's definitely, um, out of, besides Russell and McCall, I think Da Vinci is definitely next in line as far as the acting is concerned, as far as him actually, um, being the character and actually really acting. Lamar was good for the show. Too. Oh, Lord. Lamar was good for the show. The show. But, Why is that? Uh, but season three coming together good though. I want you to elaborate on Lamar. Lamar had a good shot there. He was always doing something that just kept you into the show. Like I don't know, man. Like Lamar, Lamar was crazy, man. He, he was the right kind of crazy, and it was like he was somebody. You know, like this Henry person. Man, it, He's just somebody you want gone, and they ain't really put no fear into you with the show. Like Lamar, like you really felt like, oh man, if you, if you didn't know, if you were just watching the show, mm-hmm. you would think that he was possibly going to really do something to, you know, them, which he which he had did, you know, several times. 
this human person, you like whatever, like you don't really know what's going on with her, you know. So. Yeah, um, I wasn't a fan of Lamar, honestly. I mean, I was I was happy with I, when I thought he was going after season one, <laughs> um, but this I think Henry's a lot worse, and I definitely want her going. I, I it, it definitely, definitely it, it, what that flame though was crazy. But what messed me up was when she took the protection off of even though I don't like the detective. Uh, Steve Harris's uh, character really when when they got rid of his yeah. protection, the son's protection, and then of course he got beat up and he got raped. Yeah. That did it for me. I was like, "No, nah, Henry got to go. Yeah. Henry got to go." Because I but I I thought the rule was kids were off limits. Yeah, that's what I, I that's what I thought. Yeah. And then you got beef with, of course, the adults. But like when it comes to the kids, they they off limits. Yeah. So it was, it was more so from a place of. Just removing the protection, not necessarily. But if they, she ordered something, you know. But I just, but she, she but she, re, she, she yeah. removed the protection and then she ordered yeah. them to hurt them. Okay, okay. Yeah. But she, she yeah. unnecessary though. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> the other dudes, the MKs and Remy, they are right, but. I'm glad two chains got out of there. Oh, yeah, no, he had to go. He, like, he had to go. He, like, he had to go. I saw it happen when that scene happened. I was like, yeah, he got to go. He got to go. I need some. I need something similar but a little worse for Henry. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, I think he coming back, though. Who, Lamar? Uh, no. Ghost. Oh, you went back to power. <laughs> you got to let people know when you switch your lanes. <laughs> Folks be knowing, man. Folks be knowing where I be at sometimes. Like, if they be around me enough, they know before I talk about 30, 30 different things at one time. <laughs> but yeah, I got Ghost though, man. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, Quad believes that Ghost is still alive and he's coming back on the series finale or sure. some point in, at some point in the end of Book 2 Ghost. That's, that's, that's you standing on that. Yeah, and I, I'm really at a point now where, you know, we can make a parlay on it. Over and under. Ghost coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ghost coming back, man. I really, I really feel like that. Alright, cool. Well, uh, that is it for Across This World. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Y'all listen, you know what to do. Follow me on uh, SoundCloud. Follow me on Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast. Also, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button on YouTube dot com slash Carlton T Clay. I definitely appreciate it. Qua, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Are there any last words that you want to say before we say goodbye to the people? Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the page, man. Uh, we tuning in. A lot of a lot of good stuff on the way. And this man in movies, y'all. We're gonna talk to him on VPN chat though. This man is on uh Peace Be Still. Um he's on the Save Installations. He killed that role for sure. Um, and then you got the assistant too coming up. He's on that as well. So definitely, but y'all definitely need to watch the slave, the saving salacious. This this guy did his thing. It's for on sure. two, it's on two, man. Y'all check it out, and uh, y'all be ready to see Ghost come back on power. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, and on that note, that is it. I'm Carlton T. Clay. And this is Carlton's world. Thank y'all for being a part of it, and we'll see y'all next time. Right. Peace.